Bud Light keeps sticking it to themselves. What am I talking about? Well, we all know the Dylan Mulvaney incident where this uh, gentleman put on a kind of a weird outfit and looked like Audrey Hepburn and Bud Light sent them a tailor-made can. How many of you would like to have a can of beer with your face on it? Or maybe put Donald Trump on the can, say congrats, Mr. President. They didn't do any of that. They sent a can in a marketing effort to Dylan Mulvaney, who was celebrating his 365th day being a woman. It feels great. And acted like kind of like a very, like a girly man kind of a thing. So that got people up in arms. They took the can, they threw it, they smashed it. And they could have learned a valuable lesson that maybe this is not the right advertisement for this product. You see, everything's got a product. It'd be like if Tampax wanted to put Donald Trump on the cover of the boxes and says, let him grab you by the hoo-ha, wouldn't work. So you just gotta know your audience and that's what they forgot to do. So Budweiser put Dylan Mulvaney, Tampax should put Trump, but instead Budweiser is doubling down. They're now going full LGBTQ. They have decided that the original marketing effort was just not quite understood. And advocacy groups are asking employees within Budweiser to please speak up and ask for more. And Budweiser is doing that. They're gonna be sponsoring an LGBTQ festival. So this is gonna be the gay beer of choice in the years to come. And Budweiser has done it yet again. Advocacy and animal rights groups have asked Budweiser to stop cropping the tails of the famous Clydesdale horses. I'm gonna read this to you. Budweiser has agreed for the animal rights groups. They said, we will stop cutting the tails off the Clydesdale horses used in our commercials. Now, why is that interesting? Because the reason you chop off the tail is because these are working horses. They don't want their tail to get stuck in the rigging, in the stagecoach and cause an injury or some sort of an accident. So that's why they do it. They don't just do it for fun. But I just thought that's very interesting that with Anheuser-Busch, it is not okay to chop the horse's tail, but you can chop your son's front, so, okay? So be good to the horse's backside, be bad to your little boy's front side. That's why they're calling them Transheiser-Busch. <laughs>